it's either the pig or my sanity. So the pig is going in the greenhouse. Right, come on, away you come. Away. Ah, ah. Well, you could at least close the door. Please excuse the growling in the background. It's my little dog trying to kill a plastic pig. This cabinet or wardrobe is sm it's small because I'm only five foot. It's just it's just a bit bigger than me. It's got some lovely details in it. Um, yeah, that's enough. Oh, one more for me does what it likes. So let's go inside. And I just love the fact that it's got hats, collars, so that gives an indication how old it was. And woolens. And down at the bottom, sundries. This wardrobe has more than enough life in it, but I have debated and debated and debated because it's a small wardrobe, should I make it a child's? But then last night I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm just going to make it the way I want it to be. And maybe somebody would like it and buy it, I don't know. Taking a chance, but here goes. I'm going to sand the top of this too, as I reckon anyone over um, five feet will be able to see the top of this and uh, quite a few of those. My husband's just come in from work and has kindly offered to glue this down for me. He's more better at provision things, or precision things. What I will do tomorrow is when I come in it will be dry mm -hmm. and there's going to be a space because it's a piece of missing wood and I'll fill that with um, wood filler. Let it dry again and um, then I can start the fun part, painting. So we're just going to glue this bit that's just come away. We'll glue it, clamp it, and then tomorrow I'll come in and fill in the B spaces that are left. And I will um, wait till it dries, sand it off, and as I say, get to the fun part of painting. This is my job tomorrow. I will be filling this in with wood filler. Once it's all dried, Giovanni's just going to put some clamps on, but he'll probably put a piece of wood there so that it will clamp evenly. Where's my baby girl's well today? This little girl slipped under a fence that she hasn't been able to do for so many years. And she isn't a doll yet. But um, I'm fine in case she's losing 
be just a little more than I expected. So if I take a measurement, and no girl likes to be measured on all, especially not on camera. I'm going to take a measurement to keep an eye on her. Yes, you're such a good girl. I'm strengthening my hand at all. That looks good. <coughs> Just going to put some Dixie Bell Mud and fill in these holes here. I'm going to try my painted all this with um, some slick stick. This should be dry. And I'll give a wee sand off and a wee paint over. Fill it right in. I need to get a couple of towels. Okay, let's see how's that. Uh, I, I'm supposed to keep this in the fridge, and I haven't actually kept it in the fridge. And I didn't know they had to keep it in the fridge. Uh, but it's still working. I've had it a year. <laughs> so, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And this is the painting. I've um, I put the black on this, and obviously it's going to need a second coat. But it just shows you how much the weather's changed. This usually dries within a couple of hours, and you can actually get another coat of paint on. Oops, drip there only to fix that. Um, but it took overnight this time. I want this to be jet black, not this whatever colour this is. This is what it's like with the second coat on. I don't know if you can see, it's quite shiny. Um, when this paint goes on, this is um, Dixie Belt 81. What's it? All in one mineral paint. This is Anchor. I'd seen another YouTuber doing it. Uh, this colour looked really nice. And when it goes on, you think, oh my god, this is horrific. But it dries nice, so that's its saving grace. So don't be too worried that it looks really streaky and and, and you think, oh, you can see every lump and bump, which you can at the moment, because <laughs> it seems to level out. I didn't think this was a self-leveling paint, but it seems to be, or it has at least the capability of. And I'm treating it the same way as I would any other chalk paint, and as I'm, and I'm painting all in the one direction and even if I can get my paint on and it looks a bit messy then I will go over it again like that just to make sure because um, I'm trying to avoid texture if possible because I'm going to add bits in some embellishments I think it's going to take just to just the two coats, um, but I will have to go around probably with a little art brush just to touch up things. And it's tripped here again on the back. I don't know how that's happened, so I'll have to sand that down yet again. Um, that'll be difficult.
What's it doing there? Melting sugar and apple juice to add to the concentrate that we've got from the apples. What does that do? Um, it increases the sugar level and therefore when, when the fermentation takes place we get a higher um, alcoholic uh, and uh, cider. I have wanted to start at the top and unroll it, but I'm looking at it and I want to keep this in line. I don't know if you can see that. That's quite red. Yeah, you can see it now. I want to keep this in line with the door, but not actually on the edge. It's a fine line. And that goes squinty or squee with when I'll put everything else out. So I'll have to start here. And I'm just going to start by putting a little bit on at a time and taking my time. So I'm going to put a bit of this flat coat underneath. Do this, I think it might wrinkle a little, but um, I'll be fine um, because it's not so grand thick anyway. But I suspect when it dries, do you need more paper? And the wrinkles go away, so just to give it an extra wee protection because it is a wardrobe and hopefully, it will be getting used. So I don't want to have a in this but I'm not in love with it because it hasn't lasted. <clears throat> Just the door, a coat of satin. 
I'm not too worried about how it looks just now because I know it'll dry and clear. I wouldn't have done it only I feel I have to secure the decoupage. A phone call from my daughter saying I picked a parcel. So I've been running up and down the hill, getting all these parcels in, and eventually mine's arrived. So I promised her I wouldn't open it. Oh, there he's growling again. Um, I promised I wouldn't open it until this was more complete. Oh, I'm sorry to mean that I lied. Couldn't wait any longer. So I'm going to open it. See what it is. Christmas present. Thank you very much, Selena. Oh my goodness. <laughs> does my daughter know me or does my daughter know me? <laughs> oh my god. This will actually come in handy for what looks like a coffin at the back, but it will look like a coffin when it's finished. Thank you, Tanina. So I've got another wee clue here for you. For Next video. I'm hoping to get Tibby. Would you stop that growling? Give me that pig. Give me it. I'm hoping to get Reg. I'm not hoping to get Reg in. I'm hoping to get Tibby in to help me with some alcohol. Yeah. Not alcohol abuse, but uh, to make some alcohol and ginger beer. So she'll probably be in the next video. I'm looking forward to that. So please like and subscribe. And for goodness sake, right, here you go.